And now we want to turn things back over to Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Yeah, Jeff, we have that haze out there in the sky. This is what you see from our poor mountain sky cam. We're sure to say don't see <laughs> because, of, because of the haze. What's the risk level right now? The risk level goes anywhere from moderate to unhealthy. And generally speaking, when you have these fine particulates in the, in the sky, from location to location, it's either going to be better or it's going to be worse. And one of the worst locations right now, unfortunately, is right over the Roanoke Valley. That's where we are uh, certainly seeing uh, some of the worst air quality in the viewing area. You head towards south side, you head towards the NRV, and the, the air quality is not quite as bad. Now, I do want to show you what we're seeing outside right here right now. You'll notice, friends, that we do indeed have a couple of showers that we're tracking out across the highlands. What I want to do, though, is uh, extend the picture just a little bit for you, and you'll notice that as we uh, look at the regional view. We've got a whole lot more in the way of some energy situated out in areas to the uh, west of us. We've got showers. We've got thunderstorms extending from West Virginia all the way west to the Ohio River Valley, and that is an indicator that we're going to be on the unsettled side here for a little while longer. So overall, it does look as though we're going to continue to have that chance for some showers and thunderstorms across the region here as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. It looks like again, we're going to see some of the worst weather here midweek. It looks like Wednesday, Thursday, we're certainly going to have a pretty good chance for some showers and thunderstorms across the region. And I do want to show you that tonight we will have the chance for a few showers and thunder showers too, but you need to know that the activity tonight is going to be pretty isolated. It's not to say we're going to be completely dry. We're going to have one little band of rain impacting us here for the next couple of hours and a break, and then we're going to have another band of some isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly impacting the New River Valley and Southern Highlands as we head a little bit beyond midnight. Then Tuesday at 8 a.m. may still have a residual shower or two around, but the trend will be for us, I think, to start Tuesday off pretty nicely with a mix of sun and clouds. Now, as we head into Tuesday afternoon, looks like we may have a, a couple of stray showers or thunder showers to contend with, but it looks like the coverage area tomorrow going to be similar to what we had outside today and that means just a couple of us getting wet. So Tuesday really doesn't look to be that active of a weather day for us. Wednesday things may start to change for us. We're going to start to see a little more rain late Tuesday night and then as we go into Wednesday afternoon that's when we're going to start to see these uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms becoming more the name of the game for us. Again on Wednesday looks like some of those storms could pack a punch for us with some lightning, with some thunder, with heavy rain, some wind and potentially even some hail. I am a little bit concerned about the threat for more heavy rain falling in areas that need not see any more rain like Lynchburg, like portions of Carroll County, areas that have seen three, four inches of rain here over the last four or five days may continue to have that chance for some heavier downpours as we head into the middle part of the work week. That would be Wednesday and Thursday. Now, as we track the moisture levels alongside you, storms will return on Wednesday for two reasons. One, we've got a front pushing overhead and for two, we're going to start to see the humidity really start to creep back up again. OK, when you have this muggy air when you have these hot temperatures and you have a focal point for some rising air, i.e. a frontal boundary, that's when you could get out on some nasty storms and we could have that happen again, unfortunately for us here Wednesday and Thursday. I want to talk to you about historic air quality. Roanoke's highest AQI or air quality index happened in 2002 where we had it up to 157. Today, Roanoke got up to 152, not record breaking but pretty close as Roanoke has been in the unhealthy category here for the last couple of hours or so. Other folks are in the uh, moderate or sensitive for, or, or I should say unhealthy for sensitive groups category, but it, it does look as though again, air quality is going to get better tonight into tomorrow. Still going to have some haze around tomorrow, but it's not going to be quite as dense. 85 right now, Lynchburg, 86 Roanoke, also into Danville, 77 with Phil, 82 in Blacksburg. For tonight, still going to be hazy at times, going to have a couple of showers or thunderstorms around in the mountains, overnight lows in the 60s. Three days only by zone forecast showing highs in the NRV in the middle 80s for the next three days. Highlands, your best chance for rain is Wednesday and Thursday. And in Southside, you're close to 90 for the next three days. In Lynchburg, you go from 90 to 92 Tuesday through Thursday into the middle 80s as we head into one week from today. So temperatures will cool off a bit this weekend into early next week. And across the Roanoke Valley, we're going to be unsettled Tuesday through Thursday. Then a little bit of a pattern change. We're going to be quieter Friday into this upcoming weekend.